Yeah, I got your money too. Your money too. Come on, lay it down, lay it down. These guys like all discipline. And I feel bad for the one on the left. It looks like he's been winning. Yeah, well his luck is about to run out. We're on a roll, we're on a roll. Send it. To the left, to the left. Got him. To the right behind the bunker. Welcome to another episode of Rapid Fire Review, an airsoft gun review show brought to you by the people at PyramidAir.com. My normal co-host, Jeff Lauer, has stepped behind the camera, but this week we're joined by a new guy, Nick Miller. Thanks, Barry. So what are we taking a look at this week, Nick? Well, today we're going to review the UTG Type 96 Sniper Rifle Upgraded Version. Now we're going to talk about what's in the box with this rifle. First thing you're going to notice is that here we have this long sniper rifle and kind of a short box. That's because the gun actually comes in two different pieces, the, uh, the lower stock part and the upper receiver and barrel. But we're going to show you how those go together here in just a minute, and that's going to give us an opportunity to look at those upgraded parts. Also in the box, you're going to find two 23-round magazines, uh, your bipod, a quick detach mount, and your stock parts. You're also going to get a thumb depressor speed loader, a two-point sling, and an unjamming rod, as well as the Allen wrenches that you'll need to put everything together. Okay, we've got this piece all taken apart here so that we can take a look at those upgraded pieces and Nick's going to tell you about them. All right, uh, now here's the bolt assembly. All right, uh, you can see inside the spring guide, the upgraded spring, and the upgraded piston. And they look exactly like the stock parts except that they're made of metal. And also you have your trigger assembly, your barrel assembly, and your stock. Okay, so we've got the trigger assembly and the upper receiver put back together, and this is how the gun actually is going to come to you in the box. And Nick is going to show you how to get it put together. All right, so once you have your barrel and receiver assembly put back together, you just take your stock and slide the whole thing right in. It's not terribly difficult, you just want to make sure that your stuff fits so that you're not breaking anything when you do put it back together, so that when you do fire it, it works for you every single time. Now you'll notice that there are two, uh, two holes that you're going to have to worry about. One to the rear of the magwell, and then one just behind the trigger guard where this Allen wrench will fit in. And these two screws actually are what you're going to use to tighten your receiver down to your stock. Now remember guys, when you're putting this thing together, hand tight is tight enough on these things, okay? If you get it too tight, it's going to break, and we all know that's no good. Exactly. So here you go, Barry. Why don't you explain to us a little bit about the, uh, the features of this gun? All right. First thing we're going to talk about is the bipod mount. And you're going to find a small hole right here in the front of the rifle. And this is going to slide in there very easily. And just with one finger, it clicks into position. Now, if you want to take this off really quickly in the field, there's a little button right here on the underside of the rifle. Push that forward a little bit, and it slides out no problem. Next, we're going to take a look at this folding bipod. Now, I'm going to mount this on here the other way that it has shown on the box so that it doesn't interfere with the whole workings of the gun. And you've got a thumb or a hand screw here. Things just come right on. Slide it on there, tighten it down, and you're ready to rock and roll. And as I said, this is a folding bipod. Uh, right here to the sides of each of the legs, you've got a button. Press that down, and the legs fold into position. Now, to the rear of the rifle, we have a couple of other features. This top piece here is what's called a cheek rest, and uh, you, with your large Allen wrench, you can see there's a pair of screws right here that you can uh, loosen up, and this is going to allow you to raise this plate up or lower it down, whatever your preference. If you've got a pair of goggles that are interfering with you, or uh, you just want to get a nice straight look down your optic once you've got it on there. Um, also, to the rear of the weapon, uh, on the butt plate here, you have two more of those same size screws for your large Allen wrench. You can loosen those and extend the butt plate, and that's going to give you a little bit better feel and uh, a better fit around the trigger, and it's going to allow you for better accuracy in the long run. All right. Uh, 
Another cool feature on this is your safeties. You have the one button here, you push it forward and you can see red, you're ready to fire, you push it back, you're back on safe. Another is a trigger safety. There's actually two triggers. There's a smaller one inside the bigger one. If you don't pull the smaller one, it won't actually fire, which is kind of nice. You have two safety features there. Another thing to, to cock the weapon, you pull up on your bolt handle here, nice big bolt, and you pull back on it all the way until it clicks, and you let, push it all the way forward, push it down, and it's locked and ready to fire a single shot. And the last thing that we're gonna take a look at here is the hop-up feature on this rifle. You're gonna find it located directly in front of your magazine well here. There you go there. And uh, there's this, the small Allen wrench you get is what uh, is gonna turn that for you. It's clearly marked here which direction you wanna turn it in order to increase your hop up or drop it back a little bit. And slide your Allen wrench in there, find your screw, and then you can turn it one direction or another in order to, uh, as I said, increase or decrease your hop up. So now we're gonna take this thing out to the range, see how she does. All right, sounds good. All right, we're out here to the range now. And Nick's going to put this thing on the chrono and see what we get out of it. Now today we're using uh, 0.25 biodegradable BBs. And uh, you want to use the slightly heavier BB over the 0.20s because uh, it's going to give you a little bit better impact against the target and allow the projectile to carry just a few more feet. 423. Four, what is that? Zero. Four, zero, three? Yep. 416, 419, and our last shot right back there at 419. So right in the 14 to 420 area, and uh, that's pretty impressive, I'd say. Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, reaching over the 400 mark uh, with this upgraded spring, it's very impressive. Here, why don't you go ahead and show, uh, show us the accuracy on this guy. Okay, before I do that, I just wanted to show you guys the loading procedure on this rifle. Um, as you can see, your magazine well is right here. You take your magazine, make sure you got your BBs toward the front, and uh, slides in there, and uh, there's no need to rock it in or anything like that. It just slides in straight, push it in, it locks into position, you're ready to roll. And uh, your release is this lever right up here in the front, right near the hop-up. Okay, so as you guys can see, this didn't come with a scope, but you can get one from PyramidAir.com and it's also not equipped with any hard sights. But we've decided to just go ahead and shoot it at the target for you anyway. I'm going to hold as steady as I can and we'll see what kind of p pattern we get. All right, Barry, I'll spot for you. Ooh. Keeping it pretty tight, Barry. Nice job. Top right. That's five. Nice and just because I like a sixth shot. Nice there shooting, Barry. That's a pretty tight group. I'm pretty happy with that. Without any sights, any optics at all, that pattern is within six inches. I I'm pretty impressed with this rifle. It's very impressive, Barry. All right, let's take it inside and uh, get our final thoughts. Let's do that. All right. All right, we're back inside here now, and Nick is gonna give us his final thoughts on the UTG Type 96 upgrade. All right. The, wor the first thing that really impressed me about this gun was a bolt pull. Usually on an upgraded gun, something shooting over 400 FPS, the bolt pull is going to be really heavy on a spring-powered weapon. But this pleasantly surprised me. It's very easy to do, and the fact that you still get your stock parts in case something breaks, it's pretty impressive. I liked it. How about mm -hmm. yourself, Barry? Well, I'll tell you what. Um, I had thought about talking about something else, but after seeing this thing perform on that target without any kind of optics or hard sights at all, I think consistency is the name of the game with this piece. I was very, very impressed. Uh, that target out there at 50 feet, uh, a really tight group within six inches, and uh, anybody that knows anything about the shooting game, is uh, that's really where it's at, is consistency in your grouping. And then uh, once you've got your optics on here and you've got everything dialed in, I'm certain the rifle is capable of shots up to 200 feet. Exactly, exactly.
All right, well, I think that's all the time they gave us for this piece, but keep your eyes open because we'll be back in the very near future and we'll have another cool gun from PyramidAir.com. Until then, I'm your host, Barry Goodband. And I'm Nick Miller, and if you have any questions, feel free to email us at rapidfirereview at pyramidair.com. Also, guys, before we go, I want to remind you the airsoft guns are realistic copies of actual firearms. So when you've got them out there, always play safely and responsibly, and we'll see you guys out on the field next time. Do not remove the federally required orange marking from your gun. Treat airsoft guns the same as firearm. Assume a gun is loaded, even if you know it's unloaded. Never shoot at someone who isn't wearing proper eye protection. Never brandish your gun in public and always transport it in a case. Do not point an airsoft gun at anyone as a joke. Keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Do not use airsoft guns to shoot at, discipline, or injure animals.